right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, we are going to attempt to do the uh, part two of this definitive paladin leveling guide, uh, particularly for hardcore paladin, but uh, there might be a lot of pausing. I don't know. Sometimes lag just comes in. I've tried to make this video like three times already and tells me to go F myself. So uh, the first thing I want to show you guys is what the rotation looks like when it when you're struggling with it or it breaks down. So this is an actual hardcore server. This is my character. I'm level 25. I'm in peer um, stamina, spirit, uh, gear, very little intellect, yada, 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 moving on, okay? So when the rotation breaks down, you're kind of just stuck using, um, going from mob to mob to mob, um, using whatever the hell you have available, um, killing a lot of mobs off uh, using a seal, the crusader. Um, what I like to try to do is I like to try to be as efficient as possible in, in every mob kill. And um, if I just need mana for whatever reason, I will just um, uh, k k basically do, do what I did right there, which is k cast nothing and just b blow up a mob kind of a deal. All right, one sec. Let's try to get the rotation here going. Um, but yeah, so in, in these early levels, the, um, the rotation can actually break down just because you're, you're killing them so quickly. Like in theory, I, I, sh I should judge him. I should uh, reseal Crusader. I should move on to the next mob. I should exorcism and I should run right up, which I did perfectly right but i'm supposed to to beat on him a little bit and 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 then judge crusader and then reseal and then kill him but he's going to die so quickly that that was what i just did was a bit basically a, a waste of mana and spirit regeneration um and then it's just on to the next mob and judge and seal and you're just like well shit um <laughs> these things are just dying um way too fast so i <laughs> But basically, it's it's really hard to get a rotation down uh, sometimes, but uh, just try to have a rotation so that your mana is super high. I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now, so I'm just going to exorcism this guy out of here. I'm going to heal up and then continue on, attempting to showcase uh, the downsides of this particular rotation. Um, I should jump on, uh, uh, in a moment I'm going to jump on my level 40 um, Holy Shock uh, Paladin in Stamina Spirit Gear, and we'll show a more correct rotation. But anyways, let's pull with exorcism. It's um, Seal of Righteousness, and it's Beat on Them. Um, the problem I'm having here is that um, I'm in between normal rotation and, and quick rotation um, on these mobs. Um, so, for example, I could try uh, a quick rotation on these mobs, but it, it doesn't work too well. Um, like this right here is basically quick rotation. Hit him, and then reseal Righteousness. You don't use Crusader at all. And that's not going to look too terribly um, impressive. Because I don't have a high rank of, of Seal of Righteousness. I'm just using Seal of Righteousness rank 3, and I'm basically ignoring its spell power. You can see this um, exorcism is off cooldown. This guy's taking a million years to die. He finally dies, and it's just, it's just a, a, a... You're just in between uh, two different rotation types, and, and life sucks. All right, well, I'll finish off this mob, and I'll, I'll jump on my other character, and uh, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like uh, when things get uh, more and more difficult and harder to kill. Ah, uh, because I really don't want to die on hardcore while making a video that would suck. Do 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 Thor zone. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here real fast. Um, there was something else I wanted to talk about in a video real fast. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and then find it real fast for you guys. Okay, good. Finally found it. Takes a million years to find this damn thing. Um, so one thing I did a million years ago, let's get the actual HD going here. One thing I did a million years ago um, for a video was I actually ran around and I set Consecration to only do 50 um, damage to a mob. And I, I got myself um, exactly at 50% um, armor. And then I went and I saw just how many, um, oh, what the HP levels of each mob is past level 40 and how much damage they're doing. Because... If you're a seasoned WoW player, one thing you, you know for a fact is that um, the mobs don't scale linearly with you. They get harder and harder to kill, especially um, past uh, rank 35, um, rank level 35. They get harder and harder and harder to kill. They take longer and longer to kill, um, which is why um, it, what I'm trying to tell you is that if you're a new player, you can very easily come to the conclusion that you are doing something wrong because the mobs are getting harder and harder to kill over time. Um, it's actually not true um, at all, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you why real fast here. Let's get here. Yeah, I should do. All right, so 
Um, but it's super noticeable once you uh, get past level 40. Once you get past level fully 40, holy crap, do mobs not die um, any, any, anytime soon, and they do a lot more damage. Um, so as you can see here, uh, the mobs are going up um, a rather shocking um, large percentage of, of their life. We're talking like 7.5% um, of their life um, are relatively quickly. They're going up like 150 HP a level um, something stupid like that. So unless your character can gain like 7.5% DPS per level, um, you're just going to, to it's going to be harder and harder. It's going to take longer and longer to kill a mob. Um, what's worse is that they're actually going up a considerable amount of DPS as well in the grand scheme of things. Um, and then at level, um, at, at level 51, everything just stops. Uh, you can see right here that they start doing uh, 48 damage only, and I even tried a level um, 58 mob, and he only still did uh, 48 damage. If you can see it, it down here where my mouse cursor is. Um, but the instead of the damage going up, their HP just starts skyrocketing, um, which is kind of nuts, like plus 200 a level. But it's still it's percentage wise, it's still like that plus seven percent um, HP gain every level, which is like holy crap! You're not going to be able to keep up with that. Um, which also explains why um, things like um, AOE Paladin has been traditionally a thing, uh, but I will point out that in our, for our, our purposes, um, you don't get your full toolkit basically unlocked until you're level 44 with, with, with Hammer of Wrath, right? So, um, as a Paladin in general, um, and this goes for most classes, like Warriors get Execute, and they, they get Sweeping Strikes, and, and they, they get, um, Cleave, uh, Cle although I wouldn't... Cleave's not very good. Use sweeping strikes instead. They get whirlwind is, is a really good example. There's plenty of ways for of classes in World of Warcraft to greatly increase their DPS and keep decent kill timers rolling um, on on um, the the enemy mobs that that, that they're trying to kill. But uh, I just wanted to point out really quick that if for some reason you're finding yourself taking longer and longer to kill the mobs, um, that is 100% normal, and you're not actually doing anything too terribly wrong. You're only uh, technically doing something wrong if you're taking longer than 25 seconds uh, to, 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 ki to kill a mob on average. At that point, you really need to um, rethink your life choices uh, pr pretty quickly, or otherwise it can get kind of bad. So, for example, an AoE Paladin's uh, kill time is about 22 seconds on average uh, per mob when you factor in everything, including um, how long it takes to gather up the mobs. Uh, a a uh, Stamina Spirit um, Holy build, so you have Consecration, Holy Shock, all that stuff, right? Or not even Holy Shock, but you have Hammer of Wrath and yada, yada, yada. Um, you're going to be killing mobs uh, at about the same ballpark, at about uh, 20 seconds, 22 seconds. If you're fighting undeads or, or demons, they're going to die super quickly, which is basically what we're going to be showing today. Um, somebody did ask about professions uh, on Hardcore. Uh, it's, it's actually super simple. Um, if you need money, um, skin early on and then sell the stuff. Make sure skinning is one of the things and then sell it. Um, just just sell the leather to the vendors uh, to to, to kickstart your character on hardcore. Um, make sure your second thing is herbalism, um, and then from there, um, it's it's highly advised that you you switch out. Like we're talking like by the time you're level twenty, um, switch out um, herbalism for um, engineering. Um, not, not not herbalism, damn it. Uh, skinning for engineering. Or you can be an engineer minor like that combo, but one of them should you should start with uh, being a skinner if you are poor and uh, des uh, destitute. If you're like me and you're super experienced at Classic World of Warcraft on a hardcore server, pff, I'm, I'm leveling mining and herbalism, and I'm making a damn macro uh, that allows me to switch between the two, which is exactly what I've been doing. But um, I did start with skinning uh, the second time around after my character died, and I basically lost everything uh, due to a DC. Okay, so let's go, um, let's talk about the rotations really fast, and then let's go um, showcase uh, these rotations real fast. Do, 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 do. All right, so what the heck? I want this. I want this. All right, there we go. All right, so your normal rotation is very simple. Um, you um, judge a Crusader, and then you seal um, Righteousness, preferably a rank three, but doesn't necessarily have to be. You throw down a consecration or whatever, or front load, whatever other damage you can possibly put in, and then you have a long period of dead time where you let spirit regeneration take place, and then you finish off the mob with a a judgment of righteousness and a crusader. Um, I've started finishing off the mob a little a little early, so my judgment of righteousness won't will not kill them outright. 
it'll leave the mob with like 5% health. And I do that just, uh, uh, just for so in case the, um, uh, the seal of righteousness crits just for so in case Jesus speak English properly. Goddamn. And then, of course, if you have Hammer of Wrath, you'd plug in Hammer of Wrath uh, somewhere in this vicinity. So it might look something like, you know, Wrath, blah, blah, blah. And then Consecration uh, or Exorcism might be a thing. But the quick kill is what happens when you're killing the mobs uh, way, way, way too damn quickly. But we have a Paladin here, and I can showcase this uh, 100% um, all the way through, which we're going to do right now. We are just hoping there are not too many people out here right now. Um, so we can showcase how quickly this is. All right, so this Paladin is a 31 points all in Holy. He has Holy Shock, which is actually a completely viable thing to do. He is a Stamina, um, Intellect, Spirit Paladin. He's got a few pieces of Of the Owl gear, which is basically what I suggest. So his rings are Of the Owl, the neck pieces of the Owl, um, the, the back armors of the Owl. I wouldn't do this on Hardcore, but it's it's super amazing if you can get... Um, these pieces uh, being of the owl gear. You just want some stamina. You don't need all the stamina, so you might as well uh, do some of the owl gear. And then everything else is just stamina, spirit, stamina, spirit. Holy crap, do we got we got like 104 spirit. This is actually kind of ridiculous. Um, only 30 plus 32 intellect, uh, no agility, almost no strength. I don't even know what the hell is giving me uh, plus strength. I would have to um, look a little deeper into this stupid gear. I'm trying to figure out uh, that. So, um, let's get started. Ooh, am I missing anything? No, I guess not. I'm going to kill this mob real fast uh, just for the hell of it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to substitute um, Holy Shock for um, Hammer of Wrath because I, I'm not actually level um, uh, uh, 44 yet. So that, that, that's going to be a hard thing to showcase <clears throat> uh, when the time comes. Or I might actually have some PvP here. No, he's not going to want to PvP me at that level. <clears throat> One sec, let me cough. Still sick, you know the drill. All right, take a drink of water. Mm. The alliance are here, that sucks. <clears throat> I'll try to go this way so I can showcase this. <clears throat> the problem with showcasing out here is that people are just out here all the time. Um, all right, so we're going to showcase the fast kill method uh, while we can. So you pull with exorcism, you hit him once, you judge into him, you reseal. And then we're going to make our way to the next mob. But now we just beat on him and we let stamina regeneration happen. Um, theoretically, I pff, I have my uh, damn ret aura on. That would be nice. Uh, so he's about to die. We'll just judge him real fast because I'm tired of looking at him. Exorcism the next mob. Bring him in. Uh, why are you still alive? Just go away. <clears throat> Already screwing this up. Um, but we just let spirit regeneration do its damn job. I don't know why this guy is still alive, but he is, which is kind of messed up and terrifying. All right. Getting kind of full on spirit. I wonder if I have rank three rather than rank five. No, we got rank five here. That is bizarre. Uh, rank fell off, which really sucks. All right. I'm already screwing this up. I'm not happy about it. I might have to start it over again. But we'll just continue. <clears throat> All right, so now we are super happy to let Spirit Regeneration uh, just happen. We're just super happy to chill here, um, let Spirit Regeneration uh, do its thing. We're killing these mobs super duper quickly. It doesn't really matter if I finish that mob off with a Judgment and just pull the next mob. It's, it's, it's just whatever. There's no Crusader. Uh, why, why, don't I have a, why do I not have a seal? What the hell? Ugh. Um, anyways, uh, every time I try to make this video, I swear to God, every fucking time I try to make this video, I come here and I immediately screw up the rotation. I don't know if it's because I'm talking or what the hell, but you're supposed to pull with exorcism, hit him once, reseal, and then just let spirit regeneration happen. I'm going to shut up for a sec, just in case that's the thing, and just focus, if you don't mind. Or you can just, you know, dodge every attack there ever was in the world. Damn. Damn. Holy crap, bro. Boom. Bam. Judge. Seal. Hit him. Standard operating procedure. Move on over to the next mob. We're not judging because we like our mana. All right, he's down. Next mob, pull him. Hit him once. Judge into him. Reseal. Perfect. 
Now, um, usually when I'm doing this and I'm not sucking or lagging or something, I'll kill these, be killing these mobs in like under uh, 15 seconds, which is kind of gross. Not quite, because you can see Exorcism's back off a of cooldown, so it's obviously it's already been 15 seconds. Um, but it is quick as hell. Thank you. Run up, hit him once, judge him. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so that's basically your, your quick kill uh, rotation. All right, so now I'm going to show a more uh, uh, the normal rotation by contrast, and I'm not going to factor an exorcism uh, whatsoever. So this will be us using um, Seal the Crusader, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, you can see our, our mana is, we're, we're killing mobs super quickly. Our mana is super high. Our mana bar is, is absolutely ridiculous. Um, in fact, it's so ridiculous, I'm probably going to put on Might to, to help compensate for a little bit. Nah, I don't want to do that. All right, so the first thing you, you always have to do um, with your um, uh, normal rotation is to try to figure out which is better, Seal of Righteousness rank 3 with your current rank of Crusader or your, or your most up-to-date rank of Seal of Righteousness um, uh, with, uh, with Seal of Crusader. Um, why is this? It's because it can vary b based on a wild a number of things. So, for example, my, uh, judgment, my Seal of Crusader here is super out of date. I get a new rank at level 42. I'm level 40. It is what it is. So, for example, if I run up and I, I judge this mob with Crusader and um, I put a, uh, a rank 5 on it, it's going to be like 44. Um, but the rank 3 is only doing uh, 33, which, which is not that great. And you have to, you have to test it with uh, a longsword as well. So this is the, the one longsword. So the rank 3 longsword, God, I can't tell who's doing the damage here, is only doing 20 damage. But if I do um, the, the, the rank 5, it's doing something similar. So that, that's automatically telling me that my Seal of the Crusader is unbelievably out of date. But anyways, that, that is what it is. All right, so we're going to showcase uh, normal rotation here. We're going to pretend we don't have exorcism. So we're going to run up to the mob. We are going to judge. We're going to back up just a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then we just beat them to death. Well, in theory, uh, you'd have consecration, uh, that sort of stuff that, 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 that you could throw in here. Um, I'll start doing that. If you're a rep paladin, you won't have consecration, um, obviously, but you wouldn't have wisdom up. You'd have might up instead, and you'd have a bunch of uh, other benefits. And you just slowly beat them to death. Uh, if I hit him once, I'm going to judge. Thank you. Reseal. And then he should die. Holy crap, this is taking forever. Why is this taking so long? That is pissing me off. Every time I make a video, I say, like, Miss Dodge Perry. <laughs> uh, come here. No. I don't want to run off into Narnia chasing you. Thank you. Holy crap. This is annoying me. I'm going to put on Might. I don't care. This is a little bit better. Miss. Cute. All right. Judge. Reseal. In theory, I should be moving to the next mob, but I'm busy talking, so it is what it is. All right. Cool. He's dead. Uh, where the hell is the next mob? Ugh. Seriously. Every time. Every time I make a video. Every, every fucking time. I'm not remaking it. This is, this is not happening. Nope. All right, come here, judge. Yes, front load. Mm-hmm. See if I can do it right. Okay, cool. Wait for the consecration to expire, and then we'll start moving. Oh, that's the prop part of the problem. I don't have my damn. Uh, I really just need to shut up when I when I, when I showcase uh, rotations. It's really pissing me off. Cause um, usually I'm out here. I'm leveling by myself, right? And um, I, I'm not talking, so I'm 100% focused. I, I'll execute the rotation perfectly. And I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. Let's make a video. And the next thing I know, I just can't do the fucking rotation to save my goddamn life. And it really pisses me off. Anyways, uh, the last thing to showcase here. Ooh, okay. Let's do this properly then. I'm going to shut up and do the rotation properly. All right, we cool? Well, or if I can pull him separately. Damn. All right, put down the room. died not so so already we screwed up the rotation obviously if you have to kill a mob with a uh, seal the crusader it's not the worst thing in the world but again mine's out of date like a monkey so i'm just going to finish this guy off i'm going to show you guys um aoe farm rotation because I'm, I'm sick of this I, I hate the fact that i can't nail my own rotations while i'm making a video i made this video um like five times 
I'm not joking. I, I have like two of them up on the channel already of me trying to sh uh, show the damn rotations, and I, I just can't. I don't know. Maybe I just got a mental block or something. That's super annoying. All right. Let's show some AoE style stuff going on here. <clears throat> There's a quest out here that you can do repeatedly that um, has a bunch of undead mob spawn. Um, very, very good for uh, AoE farming if you're into that sort of thing. No, oh, that's the wrong seal. Dear God. Yeah, we don't want that. Nah, let's switch for... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're going to make sure we're full mana. Why, why are you back here already? You fucking assholes. Uh, okay. All right, so you see a wisdom. You run in. You gather up a nice little pack of mobs. So in this case, I only want three. You'll judge. You'll do a double, double judge of wisdom. And then you start throwing out uh, consecrations. Like, no big deal. Um, the key and critical components are when we need to heal, we're going to use bop, we're going to use bubble, um, we're going to use a, a, a bandage, but basically just consecrate on cooldown. Um, some people like to let a, se a second go by, exactly one second go by be be before they consecrate again uh, to get an extra uh, spirit tick um, in there. Eh, um, I've done the math on it. It's okay. All right, so we're going to judge this guy. We are going to bubble, consecrate, Hopefully hit this guy once, get one heal in, and then do a bandage. Actually not. We're going to get another hit in, and then we're going to bandage. Or we're going to screw it up completely because we suck. Okay, great. Awesome. Exactly what I wanted to see. <clears throat> Where the hell did my... Thank you. <sighs> I'm like, I've been spending all... I, I screwed up the bandage because I was hitting mobs, so what the hell? All right, whatever is what it is. Um, this is the spirit build, obviously, so it's going to kind of suck uh, when it comes to, um, how do we say this, uh, AoE farming. This is not a very good build for AoE farming at all, um, but hopefully you can see uh, the general mechanics of it, or you just pull the pack of mobs, you double wisdom, and you just uh, suffer um, the consequences thereof, <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, so we're going to go in here. I'm going to pull another pack of three, or two, uh, I'll get one. I don't really want a... There we go. Okay, three. All right. Now, this is a dangerous situation, obviously. So I'm going to not do anything crazy. I am literally just going to get my mana back first uh, before I, I do anything else. I still got Bop. I got Bubble. I have the ability to heal in combat. We are 110,000% uh, chillaxing. All right, so we're going to get our mana back. No problemo. We are going to start healing. Ooh, crit heal. Sexy. And we now we're going to kill him. <clears throat> Hopefully I can do this better. Jesus. Consecration. Just spam it. La, 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 la. Um, I'm always a big fan of, of killing uh, one mob in the pack as quickly as possible. I, I've tried it um, by leaving him alive for, like, extra DPS purposes, but... I, I've always absolutely hated it in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, one of the major advantages of being the uh, holy, deep holy paladin, I must admit. Uh, this guy can go F off, if he doesn't mind. And voila. But yeah, um, very advised, use bop, use bubble um, for the big healing packs. Don't pull a pack uh, bigger than like f uh, four or five mobs um, if you are... Damn, what am I trying to say? If you're pulling a pack of, of four to five mobs, make damn sure you have Bop or Bubble up. Otherwise, uh, things are going to get frisky. If things do get frisky, do exactly what I just did, which is you go into kind of a pure defensive mode. Oh, the other issue I have is my shield is like unbelievably out of date, level 33. Holy crap. Um, you go into like this uh, weird defensive mode. Um, where it's just like, okay, I'm just here, and this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to uh, try to outlast and out-survive and, and time it out kind of a deal. All right, so the last thing to showcase here is going to be what um, Hammer of Wrath looks like uh, within the rotation, and hopefully, for the love of fucking God, I can pull this one off um, properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Holy Shock on this build in lieu of... Um, uh, damn it, what is it? Uh, fuck. Hammer of Wrath, thank God. But other than that, we're going to do a normal uh, two-handed rotation. Obviously, I'm using a fast two-hander. 
I don't have to at this level anymore because last uh, past level 34, you can use whatever two-handed you, you get your hands on. But I'm a big fan of fast two-handers, so it is what it is. Uh, oh, my, please, no, a, mm, yo, bruh. All right, so we front load our damage, then we sit, we chill, we relax. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to finish him off with an exorcism and a judgment, and we're going to move right on to the next mob. Beautiful. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's go up here. Let us go up here. All right. Judge. Shock. Shock's on cooldown. Fuck, but you would be exorciming there or whatever, right? Heal. What the hell are you doing, homie? Run right up to the next mob. He doesn't want to play. Thank you. And you just beat on him. Just beat on him. Oh, we don't have... We're not doing the rotation right. Damn. Yeah, I need to be sealing. What the hell am I doing? Crusader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm already fucking it up. Great. Awesome. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to do my best to do the fucking rotation. Jesus fucking Christ. Hope you guys are enjoying my misery. Go away. Thank you. So it should be hit, judge, shock, hit, what the, was there no judgment there or did something resist? That's weird. Reseal, move on to the next mob, judge, S-O-R, and then we're not consecrating because goddamn, we already have mana issues as is, and we just wait, we chill, we let our spirit regeneration do its thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I guess we just finish them off right now. Cool. So that, in general, is what it looks like. Um, so if your rotation is breaking down for whatever reason, like I said before, uh, just kill a mob um, like slowly and let your spirit uh, regeneration uh, do its damn job. Okay, so this was an absolute disaster of a video, but I'm sick and tired of trying to make these damn videos. Um, I hate this place. Um, <laughs> trying to showcase uh, exactly what this looks like, but it, it should be fairly simple and obvious, right? So you judge Crusader on the mob, you start beating them to death with um, uh, whatever seal of righteousness rank, and then when they get around 30% life, you judge the righteousness into them, um, or, uh, well, I, ideally you'd hit them, judge righteousness into them, immediately go into a hammer of wrath, um, hammer of wrath, finish them off, uh, uh, reseal, and then just move right on to the next mob. Or you, you know, ra um, judge, reseal, hammer of wrath, I wouldn't advise that though. Um, hopefully that makes uh, some sense. So if, if I was being crazy with the mana, um, it would look something like this. So it would actually be a consecration involved here. There would be a long bit of downtime for spirit regeneration to do its damn thing. Uh, we would be uh, watching the health bars. Okay, so now I need to judge, and then there would be a wrath, and then he'd be dead. I'd be resealing, and then we just move right on to the next mob. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Judge, blah, blah, blah. But obviously these mobs are going to die uh, way too damn quickly. Boom. 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 Come on, let's do it. Almost there. One hit. Judge. Shock. 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 Fuck. Like I said, mobs are dying too quick. All right. Well, anyways, I'm in a video here and uh, Deus Vault, boys. Um, let's see. How much time has this been? Almost 30 minutes. I will quickly do the uh, talent tree uh, real fast. Uh, that way we can just call this the definitive video, even though it's all scrubbed and messed up and stuff. All right, let's talk talents. All right, so the TLDR on talents is that we need to find um, some way to be able to turn mana into damage. Otherwise, there's no point in having stamina spirit gear, obviously, right? Um, so we're going to start with the whole retribution th uh, a talent tree because he's gonna, the talent tree that's going to have by far the hardest time um, turning uh, damage into mana uh, prior to level 44 when you get Hammer of Wrath, right? So the only real way for this build to turn um, mana into damage um, is through judging more often, which is kind of meh, and uh, and or to um, actually do a, a better blessing of might, um, to just to have blessing of might on yourself rather than blessing of wisdom on yourself um, all the time. 
Um, so I have no idea which of these is better, um, benediction or, um, uh, or, or the blessing of might thing. It really depends on which route you're deciding to go. It's like, well, if I go um, the might route, um, I might want this, but if I go the more uh, judgment-focused route, I might want benediction because that's going to make your, your seals and your judgments uh, uh, cost less mana. Um, probably better off to go uh, benediction in the grand scheme of things and then just to basically judge on cooldown like an absolute psychopath. Uh, this also um, comes into play with Im improved um, judgment. Uh, judging on cooldown every 8 seconds is going to give you uh, almost no spirit regeneration whatsoever. So it's almost a bad thing. It's actually a bad thing. It literally is a bad thing to put any, any points in here whatsoever. Um, but you can, you can play around with it. If you got, um, discipline with your judgments, uh, then by, by all means be my guess. But usually it's better to go, um, deflection. The problem is, um, there's some really good stuff here. Like improve seal of the crusader is not the worst thing in the world. Improve blessing of might's not the worst thing in the world. Yada, yada, yada. Obviously, if you're coming this deep, you're going to want to try to mess around with, um, uh, seal of command, uh, more than likely. Um, usually what this build really likes to do, okay, hear me out on this, is you really want to find gear like, um, silver bronze. While you're leveling, there's... Bleh? Hmm? Bronze? I just didn't put an N in there. Um, yeah, silvered bronze gear. So while you're leveling, there's actually a ton of gear that has, like, uh, three stats on it, which is just strength, stamina, spirit, strength, stamina, spirit... Um, strength, stamina, uh, spirit, strength, stamina, spirit. You, you get the idea, right? So, sil silvered bronze is, is really the early uh, strength, stamina, spirit guilt build. And that's really the gear that, that, that shines with this build in general. It'll have less spirit, but it's, it's got uh, the, the nice mix of stats. If you don't know how stats work in Classic World of Warcraft, um, it's, it's kind of weird. So if, if you take an item that's got like, you know, four strength and four stamina on it, and then it was just strength, it would be six strength. If it was just uh, stamina, it would be um, uh, a six stamina, right? So there's like uh, a, a massive uh, re reduction in the, in the total amount of stats. It's one of the reasons why paladins love, paladins absolutely adore gear that just has all the stats on it because we synergize so well off of uh, any and all gear that just has all the stats. So I highly advise that you do your best to find gear um, that has strength, stamina, spirit, strength, stamina, spirit, strength, stamina, spirit. Uh, because you're just going to struggle to find a use for that spirit in the grand scheme of things. Um, and that doesn't change until you're level 44, and that, that, that's all it is. And to be perfectly honest, um, Retribution Tree kind of sucks. Now, the Prot Tree, from a peer um, perspective, is absolutely terrible. Uh, you really don't want to mess with the Prot Tree at all, in, in, unless you're also messing with the, uh, the Holy Tree. Um, coming uh, down into the pier, Prot Tree has all the same problems that the Retribution Tree has, and none of the benefits for Strength Stamina gear. Um, uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, basically have to wait till you get Holy Shield until you really have something you can turn uh, a damage into mana um, to. But that's like level forty, and from there you're like a stone's throw away from Hammer of Wrath. So um, not the greatest idea in the world. By far the best leveling gear build is as follows <clears throat> um five points in divine intellect uh five points in uh spiritual focus um because you don't have any strength gear whatsoever this just gives you um healing and combat absolutely critical in uh any any hardcore uh gaming mode stay the hell away from improved seal of righteousness it does absolutely nothing what it does specifically is it increases the base damage of seal of righteousness by 15 percent and the judgment uh damage of 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 seal of righteousness uh by 15 percent um however it doesn't uh it's not affected by spell power so your seal of righteousness will hit for like six damage and it'll increase that six damage um, it'll hit for six damage plus uh, something stupid like 100 um, from all the spell power you have. So you do like 106 total damage. This thing will only increase that six damage, the base damage, uh, by 15%. Absolutely a, a garbage talent unless you're specifically interested in the judgment uh, damage of Seal of Righteousness because it does increase the judgment damage of Seal of Righteousness, I think, by a grand total of 15%. Other than that, it's hot garbage. Stay the hell away from it. There's a better use of your damn talents. All right, and then, of course, you get Consecration. Consecration, it, immediately, it gives you the ability to turn mana into damage, which makes the Spirit gear um, super, super viable um, all of a sudden uh, while you're leveling. 
Um, this is one of my major issues with Seal of Command in general, is that people are like, Seal of Command, amazing, blah, 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 blah. But you fail to take into account what it's opportunity it costed against. And it's uh, specifically, it's opportunity costed against um, Consecration. So you can either have Seal of Command, which is not better um, than Seal of Righteousness enough to be worth it, especially considering that you can have Consecration instead. So your other options are, as you saw, you just continue down um, the Holy Tree here. Um, in basically uh, whatever damn manner uh, floats your boat. I like putting one point in Lasting Judgment. And you can get um, <clears throat> Holy Shock, right, which is what what, uh, what I was uh, messing around with. Actually, it's super good. Um, the Holy Shock build is, is actually uh, pretty damn amazing. But in the grand scheme of things, probably the definitive build for Paladin is you put exactly 11 talent points into Holy, um, in this order, and then you uh, jump right over here to the prot tree, and you put uh, five points into readout, um, you put uh, three points into precision, you get your guardian's favor up, this gives you um, AoE capability, um, and then from there, you're interested in either the shield or the toughness. At some point, you're going to max out toughness, uh, don't even worry about it. Um, Kings is kind of hot garbage, um, the, especially while leveling, uh, uh, stay the hell away from it. At max level, it's it starts becoming better as your gear gets better. Um, improved uh, Righteous Fury, absolutely not necessary. You're like, ooh, what if I'm tanking? Absolutely not necessary. All right, moving on. Um, <clears throat> not necessary, just trust me on this. Um, anticipation is hot garbage. Don't ever put a talent point in this in this uh, stupid thing. It's better at the lower levels, but just pff, stay, stay the away from it. Um, I think I put one point in here. Well, I'm missing something. What the hell am I missing? Nothing? Weird. I guess we put two two talent points in there. That seems strange. Whatever. Um, but anyways, you can see here we're level 41. Um, this is pretty much the, the definitive AoE Paladin build. So if your plan is, uh, I want to be a Stamina Intellect Paladin, I want to go do the AoE farming thing, this is the build. You start by going uh, and getting Consecration, and then you jump over and you come down here to get Blessing of Sanctuary. Uh, back when Cargoes was making guides, it was advised that, that you don't put any points in Holy and you just uh, come all the way down here into Blessing of Sanctuary, and then you start AoE farming with um, Seal of Light. Um, that's actually hot. I've tested it. It's, it. it's actually sucks compared to the uh, Consecration version. You can actually start AoE farming with Consecration fairly early on, but I wouldn't advise it with um, a hardcore character as things can get, get kind of frisky. From here, where the hell do you go? Uh, it's actually very simple. Um, you got to make a decision. You either put uh, five points into Reckoning, and then you put uh, five points into One-Handed Specialization, and then you go down and you pick up Holy Shield, because why the hell not? Um, that's option one. Um, option two is to go um, deeper into the Holy Tree uh, to pick up uh, uh, Divine Favor. Um, so, for example, boom, Divine Favor, but that's level 51 already, right? And you notice uh, we haven't put a single point in, in Reckoning. Uh, yeah, so uh, what's, re what's Reckoning going to do for you? Well, when you're AoE farming, it's going to give you significantly more mana pullback uh, than it otherwise would, and it's a slight increase in your DPS um, when you're single target uh, f farming, which is awesome. Uh, one-handed weapon specialization actually increases all the damage that you do while you have a one-handed weapon equipped, but not like all, all the damage you do. So specifically, it increases the damage you do of the seal on your weapon, by 10% and increases the judgment uh, of that seal's damage by 10% and increases the white damage of that one-handed weapon uh, by 10%. It doesn't affect anything else, not even oils, not even enchants, uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, the two-handed weapon specialization does the exact same thing. Uh, judgments, uh, seals, white damage all increased by 6%. All right, cool. The only other option, uh, and this is not the worst idea in the world, believe it or not, is to go back and into the Retribution Tree and get Benediction. You'll save a ton of mana with Benediction. And what you're really after in lieu of Reckoning is uh, 5 out of 5 Precision. Uh, uh, my bad, uh, Deflection, because of Parry Haste. If you don't know what the hell Parry Haste is, um, every time you parry an attack, uh, basically the, re the remaining cooldown timer of your attack or your enemies is reduced uh, by uh, 40%. So, for example, if um, if uh, you parry if you parried an attack and you had two seconds left on your swing timer, it would reduce um, uh, 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 your swing timer to uh, minus eight, so one point two seconds. It would reduce it by by forty percent, which means your next attack will come significantly faster than it otherwise would.
and that, that means it just gives you more mana. And when you're AoE um, pulling, um, uh, uh, parry is actually more valuable than reckoning because you're not going to get uh, crit all that much compared to how much uh, deflection you're going to be doing. And then from there, uh, you just put your damn points in Reckoning, but uh, you can already see we're, we're, we're basically level 60 already, so that, that, that ends it out. All right, cool. So uh, that should end this guy definitively. I will um, end the video here. If you want more specific stuff, I have plenty of videos um, on the subject. And I guess I'm uploading this with all of its, its scrub... Uh, me attempting to showcase the rotations just being absolutely terrible. The only thing I did even remotely decently was the AoE farming rotation. Holy crap, that was terrible. Um, some little tips and tricks for AoE farming rotation. Um, uh, use bubble um, for... Uh, if you have a bunch of spellcasters for some reason that you want to pull together and AoE farm them down, not advisable, but let's say there's like five or six spellcasters, uh, just bubble and they'll all immediately run into melee combat with you. Um, it's, 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 it's actually cool. It doesn't work with bop, obviously, because I just keep casting spells at range, but if you bubble, they will all come running at you, and that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm in the video here, and, uh, day is well, boys.